we've actually got here, just to show you the parts first of all, is I've got a fixture which this engine block sits on. You can see the red shape at the bottom. And I've got the actual component that we're going to do some machining on here sat on the top. Okay, so first of all, let me show you uh, FijiCam's um, core strength, core ability, which is feature recognition. So on the top of this part, you can see we've got a series of um, holes and we've got some pockets that we need to machine. So what I can do is use the automatic feature recognition feature cam, and we're entered into this wizard process where we select the solid that we're feature recognizing, we select the setup, the direction that we're recognizing this from, so in this case, straight down the z-axis. Feature cam is now analyzing the part, it's looking down the z-axis, and it's looking for as many uh, 2D features as it can find. Now you can see here there's quite a lot of detail on this part, and we've actually found more detail than we need. This part will uh, start off as a casting, so the general outer shape um, is already defined by the casting process. So I can remove some of these features because I don't want all of them, so I'm going to take out the ones that we don't need, just leave the, the pockets and the holes, and I'll say finish that. So what feature cam's done there is it's automatically recognised these facing operations. We've got a couple of hole patterns and we've got these pockets at the bottom here automatically recognised like so. And you can see them in the feature tree as I walk through them. Now, as well as um, recognising the features, feature cam for every feature it's found has automatically allocated tooling and calculated tool paths. So if I now come to our simulation, turn on the simulation and do first of all a single step just to load uh, the simulation block. You can see without doing anything else we've already got toolpaths calculated for all of those features that we found looking straight down the, the z-axis. So let me just uh, play this sequence. So you'll see we've got facing operations, we've got some spot drilling, we've got drilling and we've got the, the pocketing automatically created. If I open up the results tab, you can see all of the operations in this list here. If I zoom in, so you can see this. We've got uh, spot drilling, drilling. If I move down the list, we've got milling operations there as well. If I come to this tab over this side, you can see straight away that we've automatically got NC code. Okay, so that's all generated automatically by the, uh, the AFR, the Automatic Feature Recognition. 